Okay, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> my phone died and I know when I talk to my sister tomorrow, she's going to be cracking up because <laughs> I have a bad habit of doing that. Um, if, well, y'all aren't tuned in yet because I dipped out on accident, but as you guys tune in, I'm reading for water signs. If you're not a water sign, I did do all the other signs earlier. If you missed it, they will be up on my YouTube tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> I'd say... I don't know, at some point in the middle of the day, because it's the middle of the night now, and I still got a couple other things to do. So they'll be on my YouTube tomorrow. You can find that link in my profile. Um, I am just resetting back up, but I'm going to get into reading for Scorpio. I'm still going to do some yes or no pulls, as I promised. Just <laughs> give me a second. Man, I was getting into it. I was ready to read for Scorpio, telling Pisces to just hang tight. But um, my phone was like, actually, you need to hang tight. So I had to put it on the charger, but I think I got enough juice and the way my thing is set up right now. And it's like, it's two o'clock in the morning. Like I am not about to go pull out extension cords. So, um, I think I got enough juice to get us through Scorpio and Pisces. Um, if not, yeah, I'll do Pisces tomorrow, but I think I can make it through the video. So let's hurry up and get into Scorpio. Um, for April 2023, Scorpio sun, moon and rising. Thank you to everybody that tuned into the last video and, um, sent in all the gifts and all the love. I do appreciate it. Much appreciated. Let's see. What is the overall energy for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising for April 2023? Let's cut. This is it's technically a collective reading, but um, it's for water signs. If you're just tuning in, I did all of the other signs earlier and I will upload them on my YouTube tomorrow. Um, it's Sunshine Haze Co., all one word. You can find the link in my profile. For the overall energy for the month of April 2023, Scorpio, you've got the tribe and you've got TikTok. Um, what I get, <laughs> it's funny because I get two specific messages for that. First and foremost, what I get is that this needs to be a collaborative month for you. Um, especially in like your workspaces and your creative spaces, your passion projects, you need to be working with other people. You need to be bouncing ideas off of each other, you know, brainstorming together and creating things together. You do have the ability to find a lot of success in that way. Um, you've also got TikTok here. So with that being said, um, there's something that you need to be coming into alignment with and it's almost i feel like it could be somewhat karmic um and it could be an opportunity it could be a relationship it could be meeting somebody or just a connection an interaction but it's it's something you're supposed to be in alignment with and i get the feeling that you're kind of teeter-tottering off of the the way you're supposed to be uh you know what, what do they call it? like walking on the tightrope <laughs> um you're going to need to figure out this month and I think you'll figure out how to kind of hone in and get your focus by way of stepping into your tribe. You have the tribe card here for your overall energy. Um, by stepping into your tribe, by talking to people, by having those conversations, because oftentimes when you have conversations with people, they say something to you and it sends off a little light bulb in your head and you're like, oh, there, there we go. Oh, there we go. I, I didn't know I needed that piece of information, but now I have it. So for the month of April, Scorpio, it is very important for you to put yourself out there and be open to the opportunities coming to you, especially if you're a Scorpio that's uh, more on the introvert. And I mean, like most water signs are, but if you're, but you know, we, we can, we can flip back and forth. But if you're on the super introvert side, this is going to be a month in which you need to kind of step out of your comfort zone because you 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 could put we can block our blessings you can put yourself in a position to where you can kind of miss your opportunities and you don't want to do that okay all right let's pull some cards for career and finance for the month of april welcome back everybody welcome back if you're tuning in i'm reading for scorpio right now it is collective all the other signs will be up on my youtube tomorrow virgo was red virgo was Virgo was one of the first ones that I read. Um, you can find it on YouTube tomorrow. My YouTube is, uh, my YouTube channel's link is in my um, is on my profile. Um, we got one for career and finances. Cancer was done earlier. That'll be on YouTube tomorrow as well. Pisces will be next. Next and last. Pisces is the next and last one. Welcome to everybody joining in. 
Um, I will do more free. I am doing free pulls, but I'll do more of them if I get some more roses. So y'all want me to pull more of those. Send me some roses, please. And thank you. All right, let's get into money and career for April. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, you've got the Four of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Emperor. So off bat, because I pulled two fours for you, I want to speak to the uh, numerology for you guys. Um, four is four when we're speaking to those numerical spiritual energies is all about manifestation and planting seeds of foundation right but you don't have pinnacles here you have swords and you have cups so this shows um discontent in your career space it shows that you are not necessarily very happy doing what you're doing i mean if you are happy what could be coming up is you might be starting to think about the fact that your career might be fulfilling on that front, but it might not necessarily be financially fulfilling. You do have the Empress card here. And what I will say when I get like the Emperor, the Empress, or any of those singular cards, those major arcana cards, it does point to kind of looking in a direction of maybe doing something for yourself. If you have the skill set and have the resources, you might want to look into becoming an entrepreneur. Um, you might want to look into starting your own business, especially if you already have a side hustle. Like if you already do hair on the side, maybe you need to make that official. If you, if your friends make you cook plates for them for their little small events, maybe you need to look into taking some cooking classes and starting your own catering business or maybe going to culinary school. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I'd be cooking. I'm Creole, but I don't know nothing about no chef school. <laughs> um, but I, I do get the sense that maybe you need to, I, I don't want to just keep, I, I always say maybe and you might because it's, you have the ability to, you have free will. Um, our paths are laid out for us, but you have free will as far as how you get to them. So, you know, I could tell you this, but you might take a completely different path. So I say maybe a lot because of that. But whenever I see these cards, it just points to doing something for yourself and standing on your own. And you have these two cards of discontentment. The four of cups is as I, I don't like what I what I've been presented with. And the four of swords is I need to think about this. I need to take a moment. And what it leads up to is pouring into yourself. So I will say for those of you that are in career spaces where you work for somebody else, it is time for you to work for yourself. Um, I have an uncle, one of my favorite uncles. And I was talking to him around, I don't know if it was my birthday or his birthday, but I was, you know, kind of talking to him about writing, you know, getting back into writing TV scripts and wanting to, you know, make sure that I'm in the spaces that I need to be in, but feeling like I didn't have time when I was working full time for these other jobs. And he told me, he said, listen, I'm gonna put it to you like this. You could spend eight hours of your day working on somebody else's dream when their dream has already come true. You just making them more money and only four hours on your dream because you got to sleep, you got to eat, you got to get replenished for the next day. He said, or you could figure out how to spend four hours on somebody else's dream if you have to and spend the uh, then flip it and you spend the eight hours on your dream. And I think that's the message that's coming in for you. It's time for you to focus on your dreams and start pouring that into yourself. These companies, these organizations, they got money, they got funding, they got everything they need and you're just giving them labor. <laughs> like do something fulfilling because you, you, your cards are also saying that you're not fulfilled in your career. Um, going back to your overall energy for the month, the tribe, reach out to your people. Start telling people that you're not feeling satisfied because they might have opportunities for you, especially people that know what you like to do. Let them know how you're feeling. They might be like, yo, I didn't know you didn't like your career. I need somebody to, I need somebody to cater my friend's wedding. Uh, they'll pay you X, Y, and Z. And it's on this date. Can you do it? You know, just open your mouth. Closed mouths don't get fed. That's, that's what I got for you. Um, as far as career goes, anything for finances? Oh, um, be, be careful with your money this month. Don't overspend, um, and be mindful of people asking you for help, especially if you are typically always the go-to this month, you need to tell people you ain't got it. Even if you do got it, citrus, uh-uh, get down, uh, ma'am, <coughs> cat, <laughs> what was that? Get down, you little crazy ass tabby cat, bye. Um, be mindful of people asking <laughs> It's wild. Be mindful of people asking you for money, especially if you're typically always the go-to. Um, you need to pretend like you don't have it this month. I, you're going to need your money for other things, especially if you're getting ready to invest in yourself. You don't have it for other people right now, okay? All right, let's get into love for Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising for April 2023. What is 
happening for you guys. I'm going to pull a general overall for the heart space, and then I'll pull a couple for relationship, and then I'll pull a couple for um, the singles. All right. And if you guys want yes or no questions, more yes or no questions, I'll probably pull like eight to ten after I do Scorpio before I go into Pisces. If you guys want more, send in some roses. Please and thank you. I just finished. Uh, well, I'm not done with it. I'm finishing up Scorpio. Um, overall heart space. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. That's nice. Oh, but you got the Five of Cups after that. All right. So for the <laughs> for the month of April, um, I get that you're very much so focusing on. Thank you. Um, that you're very much so focusing on like your own foundations within your heart space, if that makes sense. Like you're in a space where you're like, I want to be happy and I want to feel fulfilled in every aspect. And that could be you, like that could be you want somebody to check off all your boxes or it could be you want somebody that gives you this, but doesn't necessarily, it just depends on what your personal preference is. Citrus, why must you be doing that right now? Thank you, appreciate it. Citrus, can you please stop playing with the doorbees, girl? Right now is not the time to make noise. One second, guys. You, you're a menace because you wasn't messing with them doorbees all day. And you decide to do that when I need it to be quiet in here. You need to chill. Don't give me kisses. That's not going to stop you from, girl. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye. Um, all right. Where was I? You guys are in a space in which you're really focused on like what it is that you want. You want to be happy and you want to be solid in your happiness. I get a, a feeling that, especially with water people, I get a feeling that you fluctuated in that. Like you've had moments, like you'll have a chapter where it's really happy and then you have a chapter where it's really sad when it comes to love. And then you have a chapter where it's really happy and you're like, I'm kind of tired of that. I would like to, <laughs> citrus, for real, I would like to have some consistency and honestly just leave it at that, right? Um I do get that you're focusing on this because you have the five of cups. If you are involved with somebody, even if you're single, I do get that there might be a little bit of disappointment this month for you as far as the love front goes. Um, but we're going to let's get into that. Let's split it. Relationships, people in relationships and partnerships, and then we'll read for singles. A couple cards for people in relationships. Please excuse the noise in the background. Citrus has decided that she's not going to listen to me right now. And she is thoroughly intrigued by my door beads. Relationships. What was that first card? Ten pentacles and the ace of wands. Oh, we got two, the hierophant and the eight of swords. Um, for those of you in relationships, which is, this is very interesting, I get that you're putting effort toward the relationship, but you're also kind of on this path to where it's like, I'm also building my own self up because this could go one of two ways. Um, and I I rarely ever say look to outside people for advice. But for some of you very specific, you this tie, I'm getting a message that ties into that entrepreneur. For some of you, this is a specific storyline. This may not resonate with everybody. But for some of you, the decision to start working for yourself or like start your own business is going to cause a rift in your relationship and you're still very much so going to be in love with this person you're like I'm still putting effort toward it but in the back of your mind there is this energy of this might not work out because they don't support me you may need to reach out to somebody who, who, and I feel like you know somebody who has gone through this, reach out to somebody who has gone through the same thing. Um, but at the end of that, I you got the eight of swords. So I feel like you're going to start feeling trapped either way if you do decide to um, kind of start doing your own thing in your career. That's interesting that that tied into career, but those are the cards that I got for you guys in relationships. Okay. Um, let's swing over to the single, single uh, Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Uh, what's popping for love for April 2023? Okay, she finally left the uh, door beats on. Judgment. And the Six of Wands. Okay, um, this could be you. This could also be another water sign indivi individ individual. This could be another water sign individual. Um, Knight of Cups. You may have another Scorpio, which I... 
highly don't recommend that. <laughs> I don't recommend dating your same sign. Um, could be another Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer coming in for you. And this could be the someone that, you know, rocks your socks, rocks your boat, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I mean, to somebody that you kind of want to see where it goes. You got the Six of Wands here, which is a, a card of progression. It's like budding progression, but it's like, let's see what happens here. Um, now, you may also, because this is a single spread, this could be you just coming into a space, a, another space in or a more clarified space in which you're like, okay, I finally know what my heart wants and I'm ready to go out there and get it. I also get that if you've been closed off for a while, Scorpio, like if you've actually been single for a minute, you're ready to get out there and start dating. You're ready to mix and mingle and you are not trying to confine yourself to one person and that's okay because this is a fire card. Citrus, are you in my kitchen? I know, I know you are not in the kitchen. Ma'am, you about to get sprayed. Yeah, you need out, out of the kitchen. Get out of there. What What is your deal tonight? Is it because I'm up during your hours? You're going to have to get over that. This is my, I live here and take care of you. Cats are a different breed, man. They're literally a different breed, but like they're different, man. Um, with the fire cards, when I pull them in love spreads, I do tell people to be safe, practice safe sex, wear protection, fire is rowdy and wild and you don't want to get mixed up in nothing crazy especially if you're like i want to date multiple people okay no judgment <laughs> the judgment card in your spread no judgment being passed here all right just be safe in doing what you do um and that is it for scorpio let's get into some yes and no some free yes and no's give me a second and Forgive me for like rushing through this, but I know that my battery is low and I don't want my phone to die on y'all again because tonight is already dragging. But we're going to get some yes and no's going. Let me get these cards mixed back in. Give me a second. Welcome to everybody joining in. If you're just coming in, I just finished uh, Scorpio for April. Um, I only have Pisces left. So if you missed your sign, you can find it on YouTube tomorrow. I would say like tomorrow evening because I'm more than likely sleeping and it is almost three o'clock in the morning. Um, but you can find it on my YouTube and my YouTube is on in my profile on here. Okay, I'm going to I'll pull an oracle and a tarot. I'll give you like a little insight and a yes or no. Okay, so come on and hit me with these questions. Will you be getting divorced? Let's see. 3.33 where you're at. That's a good time. But that means you should have probably been asleep. <laughs> You've been up later than me. Um, Are you going to be getting divorced? Not for you. I feel like that might be a yes. I don't do yes or no for majors. It's a seven. This is a no. Seven's no, but with that seven of cups, like, eh, I don't know if no is really the direction you should go in. Maybe you should do it. Maybe you should get a divorce, but the cards say no. Citrus, why are we back at the door beads? I did Sagittarius earlier. That'll be on YouTube tomorrow. Um... Let's see. <laughs> Citrus was definitely done with Scorpio. She was like, girl, give them some yes or no's. Is, is David lying to you about being with you when he comes home next month? Do you mean like, is he, is he not actually going to come through? Um, I think that's what you mean. I'm going to pull for that. Is David, I'll, I'll tell you, hold on, TikTok. Mm. I don't know yet, but either way it rocks, like time is running up on that. Like you're going to have to decide whether or not you still want to deal with that. Uh, Betty Brown. 
Don't do quartz. Don't do quartz. Uh, if I get a third quart, I cannot give you an answer on that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, he's he's gonna come around but like i you i feel like you, you might be wasting your time with that just being completely honest like you're gonna see him he'll come around but like is it really worth it it's not i feel like it's not sorry let me get let's see doing some yes or no's i just did two i got eight more before i go into pisces Thank you guys for the roses. I appreciate it. Um, it is much appreciated. I thank you for the likes. I did see a few of you hit my cash app. I appreciate that the most. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't see the names because it goes away really fast. I don't have on my glasses, y'all. But they, thank you for real to those of y'all hit my cash app. If, if you want to show that kind of love, it is right there. Um, you be able to quit your job and become a full-time content creator this year. Dominic or Dominique, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think Dominic, I think it is. Will you be able to uh, to quit your job and become a full time content creator this year? The fates. <laughs> I like when that one comes up. Let's let's get your actual tarot. Don't do courts. Okay. No, but yes. And I'm going to kick it to you like this. It's not going to go as quickly as you think. You're not going to be able to quit this year, maybe part time. In due time, though, it is going to come in for you. You do have success in that area. Is V trying to spin the block? Go the distance. <laughs> Look at this. What do you think? Don't do courts. Don't do majors. I do do high priestess because that is my confirmation. That's a yes. They, they try to spin the block for real, for real. Uh, I think we got six more. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Will you be selling your house? I, I don't I think you gave me a month. I don't do timelines like that, but or you might have given me a year. Um but I will give you what I can, okay? Poise, be patient with that. Maybe not this year. I actually cannot give you an answer on that. Uh, that it needs a little bit more time to cook. Uh, five more, five more. Will S drop everyone for you? I laughed on the inside and I'm sorry to tell you this, but I laughed like, <laughs> so I feel like, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I'll pull for you, baby. Message in a bottle. I think that was your message. I think that was a channel, channel message and not trying to be shitty. I just think maybe you need to leave that alone. No, they will not drop everything for you. So move on, charge that to the game. Not worth it. Is your current relationship with Arthur going to succeed? You know what that made me think of? That's what I thought of. Y'all see, Citrus, she's such a menace. Look at that. But I was trying to be funny. Made me think that. Will Arthur and you make it thinker, possibly? Let's see. Uh, No. Let that go, baby. Your job status. That's not a yes or no question, honey. Um, but if you if you reword it, I'll answer it for you. I'm not because I'm not sure what you want to know. Should you intern for DLR? No. But let's clarify that. Uh, I'm telling you no, but you're still going to consider it. But the answer is no. If you take that, if you make that decision, you're going to be like, this really wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, Three more. Should you divorce Brett? I feel like if you're asking that, the answer is yes, but I will pull for you. All that glitters is not gold. 
if you ask in that because you found somebody on the side, the answer is no. But if that's not the case, um, let's see. Should you divorce Brett? Don't do courts. That's a four. Yes, you should divorce Brett. Um, two more. Uh, I saw a job question that I wanted to answer. I think that was the, the person that. Well, you be will you be getting the new job that you apply for? So this, uh, I'll do three more. We'll count this. Um, it's not for you, but you, they might offer it to you. But it's I don't think that's that's the right opportunity for you. Tower, ooh yeah, that's not the right opportunity for you. Um, but they might offer it to you. I mean, it could change some things, but in the long run, maybe it's maybe not the best. Okay, let me get back up. Um, are you going to be in 2025? I don't do timing. I'm not a fortune teller. I read energy. So sorry, I'm going to pass on that one, love. Um, let's see. Give me a second, y'all. We got two more, right? Can I not see your comment? I wasn't looking, but I only see one of your comments. I mean, that was a little aggressive. <laughs> so I'm just, can I not see your comment? I don't, how many times have I told you I'm not wearing my glasses? Um. Okay, let's see. Should you get a job? Unfinished Symphony. Whatever the answer is, you still need to devote your time to whatever passion projects you're working on. Don't do uh, majors, no majors. Yes, you should get a job, but make sure that you are still putting time aside to work on your, your own stuff. And do I have any new new questions? Does uh does Nathan look at you? And this is the last one for this round. That I'm gonna do Pisces, and then we'll do some more. Uh, what, what's my battery looking like? Can I see my battery? Can y'all? Oh. Shoot, I don't know where my long charger is. That's that's what the issue is, y'all. Sorry. Um, but I know I have a, an extension cord somewhere. One moment. Let me pause this really quick. I'll do that last pull in just a second. Let me grab this charger. It, would y'all believe <laughs> if you were here for the last live you would believe me when i say that my phone was on one percent um and what was uh does nathan look at you in a romantic way mending maybe Yes. Um, he's going to be very slow to move on that. Okay, let me get these cards back in the deck and then we will get into Pisces, the last read for the night. And then I'll pull a few more yes or no's at the end. And then I am not going to be taking my ass to sleep, even though I should be, but I will be doing some other things before I get in the bed. Thank you to everybody that's tuning in. Thank you for the roses. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the cash apps. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Y'all know I really appreciate them cash apps. Look at me. I'm getting sleepy because that card does not belong over there. Um, and the roses and the follows. Like I, it, 
I enjoy actually interacting with followers who are like, you know, my readings are helping them, like doing the collectives and the little TikTok posts are cool, but I actually like doing readings for you guys in which I get to interact with y'all. So thank you for being up this late with me or this early, depending on where you are. I do appreciate y'all. I do, I do, I do. Citrus, are you behind me? Oh, you're in your bed. No, you stay in there. Oh, no, damn, I should have said nothing. Hi, hi. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. You could go back. You can go back, chicken. You can aggressively purr at me. I'm almost done, girl. I know. No, I'm messing up your flow. My like, girl, this is my alone time. It's all up in my groove. But guess what, Citrus? That means tomorrow morning you have sunshine hours to yourself. Because I know I won't be up with the sun. Um, as I'm putting these cards back in, I guess I could use this time to give you guys a little bit of an update. For those of you that do follow me, you know I took a break from um, doing readings and a lot for Sunshine Haze Cove over the winter. I, I just, I was feeling burnout, um, but I am back. I am still offering, you know, your single readings, um, but I am also offering uh, some tarot memberships on Patreon. I have five different tiers. They have different prices, um, so they're affordable for everybody, I'm hoping. Um I'm tripping. I do need to go to sleep. Y'all, I was about to light my house on fire. Did y'all see that? <laughs> Yo, that was wild. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Yo, I was like, some one of these things does not belong here. Something is not right. Okay, let's uh let's get <laughs> let's get to Let's get into Pisces. And you know what? That's right. I, was that not a very Pisces thing to do? I don't have no Pisces in my chart, but like, doesn't that seem like something a Pisces would do? I'm going to put the coal on this uh, cloth and just <laughs> hope for the best. <laughs> Yo. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I do wild things when I need to get sleep in my system, but I am dedicated. For those of y'all that don't know, I am a Capricorn rising. It was not going to make no sense for me to leave one sign for the night. Like that just, so here we are at 2.47 in the morning. Okay, cleared that from the yes and no's. Man, I'm so glad I did. <laughs> would have went viral for real <laughs> woman reading tarot cards lights her apartment on fire by accident she was doing a collective reading what sign for pisces oh makes sense all right pisces sorry I do love y'all. I actually really love Pisces people. <laughs> y'all are y'all are one of my favorites, but y'all y'all be out of there sometimes. All right, Pisces sun, moon, and rising for April 2023. What is the overall energy, overall theme for you guys? You got the tribe too. Scorpio got that as well. And you got TikTok. I don't like that because I feel like that's exactly what Scorpio got. Is it not? Or am I tripping? Was anybody tuned in? I don't remember. I'll pull one more. Time for an... <laughs> I need to shuffle that again. <laughs> okay, Spirit. I understand I need to go to sleep, but I cannot leave them hanging like that. Like, I'm I'm doing the uh, Pisces reading for the night. One second, y'all. Let's, let's clear these cards. My dad said, girl, <laughs> you just tried to light everything on fire. And then you just came at Pisces head and you want to read for them? Yes, I do. It's all good. It's just jokes. All right, we're going to do that again. And it was wild too because I did shuffle. All right, Pisces sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising. Let's pop in for y'all for April 2023. What is the energy for people with those Pisces placements for this upcoming month? Higher power. Okay, that makes more sense. 
Oh, let's pull one more. Higher, ooh, Pisces. I like it now that I'm actually connected. Now that we're connecting. Um, higher power and serendipity. This makes me happy for you guys. This is going to be a good month for y'all. Um, I get that a lot of you may be getting back into like your spiritual routines, especially if you kind of fell by the wayside on those. Um, you may just be feeling more connected. Um, I also get even though I'm not in the love portion yet, I do get that some of you may have a connection with somebody, whether you're in a relationship or whether you're just newly connecting with somebody that feels very, um, like very soulmate, like, like it, it's a, it's on a different type of level, if that makes sense. Um, and you got serendipity. So just, you know, some happiness coming in for you, some good things coming in for you. I get opportunities, I get abundance, I get just, just, uh, just straight flow. Like literally, you know how we say go with the flow. I get that you're going with the flow and your currents are just like, just right. You're not, it's not too fast. It's not too slow. The water's not too cold. It's not too warm. It's clear. You can see the fishies, your little fish friends in it. Um, April is going to be good for you guys. Um, and you've got, what's that? That breaks down to nine and, and you've got four. So you've got the energy of coming, like wrapping a certain cycle up, which I get is what you did not have the serendipity in wrapping that up and coming into getting ready to prepare to come into this new chapter and also planting the seeds for and building upon uh, these new foundations that are coming in with this serendipity energy, the serendipity card. Okay. All right. Let's get into what is it? Finances and money for Pisces sun, Pisces moon and Pisces rising for April, 2023. I'm not going to read all those cards, but I will pull the hangman for you guys. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know why the Temptations movie is in my head. Just a little bit longer. That song is called Stay. Um, why is that coming up with the hangman? Oh, okay. We're in we're in finances and career. I know why that's coming up. Um, some of you might be completely over. <laughs> Not your job said no, please don't leave just yet. Um, some of you might be completely over where it is that you're working. Um, you might be just like really waiting for something, like some for something to give. Like I feel like it might be very stagnant in those areas. Um, you've got the hangman here, and you're kind of just waiting for something to happen. And by way of the music that I was getting at first, I was feeling like, oh, no, stick it out for a little bit longer. But with these cards um, and what I said after singing that, I feel like they trying to they trying to hit you with the okie doke like, oh, we'll give you a raise if you do X, Y and Z or we'll give you this vacation time for A, B, and C, but it's kind of just like, eh, you can give me that, but I'm still not necessarily very happy here. So can I get another card or two on any, any more insight for that? Because that just sounds like, like we're just, like just chilling. Ten of Pentacles, how so? Seven of Pentacles. You need to be cultivating something, not necessarily in that workspace though. Okay, you guys are also getting that sound. Was that, I don't know if that was Scorpio or Cancer, but y'all are getting the same message for um, kind of the same, kind of the same message as far as uh, pouring into yourself. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but there is something else that you could be working on. Um, speaking to the song, I feel like you could maybe still, still, still stick it out at your job. But like I said, with that that other uh, sign, Scorpio, <laughs> like what sign is it? With that other sign, Scorpio, you you definitely need to be putting some some energy and effort into your own passion projects and your own passions a little bit more so um, because it's a, a Pentacles card, not necessarily a, a Cups card. I get that this is not, oh, I just, I love doing this and this is a passion project. Like, okay, it's like, yeah, it's a passion project, but there's potential here. So you actually need to solidify this and actually manifest this in the physical. So start looking at resources, start getting together a physical plan, start writing a plan out, start, you know, talking to people that can help put you in the position that can bring success for whatever these things are. You've got a building card and a success card on either side of that. 
Um, but you also have a little message to, to stick it out at your job for a little bit longer, okay? All right, Pisces. Oop, sorry. I'm just, you know what? We're almost there. <laughs> We're almost there. It's getting, it's getting wild. All right. Um, that's not the really pile we need. We are going into love now for Pisces. Last section of the spread, and then we'll get into some more yes or no questions, okay? Um, Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Overall general heart space for April 2023. We've got the three of wands and the knight of pentacles and the ten of wands. Um, something is budding. Something that you definitely, like, you could see yourself like building up on if you're single i'm getting this obviously this is for a single person um you could see yourself building up with somebody else um but you also have a lot going on like i get that you might be eager to move forward with this person but there's also a lot of stuff going on in your life that just might like it might cause a little bit of stress but you know if it's the right person they can make it work oh the five of pentacles um but I'm not getting that for love. I'm getting that more for the finances. Pisces, for some of you, I feel like there's a little bit of an insecurity with your finances. Like, you feel like you might not make enough to deal with the person that you deal with, but, um, or be in the relationship that you're in or in the situation that you're in. But I don't, I'm not getting that your person even cares about that. Oh, that was funny. You got the eight of cups. Um, so as far as that energy is concerned, that's something that you need to get rid of. Like you're you're putting energy into something that is like that is a false notion. Like especially if you're dealing with somebody that you really, really, really like, um, they don't they don't really care about that. Like <laughs> especially like I I'm just really getting like you know you're you're thinking a little bit too hard about that thinking a little bit too hard about that. It really doesn't matter. They're not worried about that. So you need to let that go. Okay. Um, and I think that's where that 10 of wands is coming from. I think you feel like you need to make a little bit more money to impress them, but they really don't care. Like they're like, whatever. Like, I like you. It's cool. Whatever. Um, all right, let's pull some cards. I, that was a message for singles, but that was the overall heart space. So if you're in a relationship and you're trying to impress your person, like it, that, it makes it even more so silly. Like you already have them. You don't need to do that. If they have an issue, I'm sure they'll tell you. All right, let's pull a couple cards for the people in relationships. Yeah, I would disagree. Like, don't, don't worry about that. You should circle back around to whatever you told that man and be like, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I was I was having a moment. Ooh, the world. The six of pentacles. Oh, why do the five of cups keep coming up? That is bothersome. So we're reading in order. People in relationships, Pisces. Um, you got two good cards to start. It's like. I'm getting like things seem like they're going really well, like you're you're building something up, but then it's just it just might not go well. It just might go left. Um, this is a card of disappointment, of sadness. Um, I also get with the world card, it is a card of cycle, so it is possible that you're making decisions in your relationship to build in a different way, which could probably mean not being with that person, which leaves that person sad or leaves you sad. Can I get a little bit of clarification on that? Temperance up. Oh, there goes the pour into myself card, which came out a lot for the fire signs. Um, so Pisces, especially if you have fire in your chart, um, this is this is a get back to being dolo month. I'm sorry. I don't sugarcoat my uh, love readings because I feel like that'll just put y'all in a trick bag. So that's what I got there. Like you might be wrapping that on up and it might hurt a little bit. It might feel like a little bit of an L, but it it looks like the cards are saying this is a time where you really need to focus on yourself. So there's that for Pisces and relationships. A um, couple cards for single Pisces. Excuse me, Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Thank you guys. I know it's getting late and the numbers are dwindling, but I really rock with y'all that are rocking with me. And I somebody I saw somebody say it was four or something in the morning. So thank you. Thank you. I don't know. Are you getting up to go to work or are you just up? 
and have it gone to sleep. <laughs> um, single Pisces, love. What's happening on the love front for April 2023? Sun, moon, rising. Queen of Swords. Five of Swords. And the Six of Swords. Okay. Single Pisces. Um, I get a couple of messages with that there. Um, single Pisces, I get that you... This is funny because... As a water sign, I'm not entirely sure why you would be trying to fake the funk like this anyway. I get that you're trying to put on some sort of like facade that you really don't have emotions and that you really don't care and that you don't get attached, but that's a lie. <laughs> like I can personally tell you from personal experience um, in my past that that is a lie when it comes to any water sign. Um, be mindful of that because from your earlier cards remember I said like there's potential for something there for you and I believe that I was going for the single people like this could you have the five of swords here this could push that person away to the point to where they're like you know what you are not affectionate enough for me you don't seem like you care enough for me so therefore I'm gonna cut this off because my heart is not set up like that um, and you got the six of swords, which is like, you got to just walk away from it going on in the dust, like leave them in the dust. But it's really more so like they're leaving you in the dust. When I pull the six cards, I get this card of nostalgia. So I'm like, if you move like that, you're going to miss out on a good thing. Um, clarification, the magician, like, oh, this is, this is interesting. Um, Pisces, if you're thinking of somebody specific and you are like, oh, I was playing hard to get on purpose. Like, you're like, oh, I was doing that. I got um, resin from the blood, not bloodstone. What is that? Dragon's blood all under my nails. Um, you have the, like, it's actually up to you, whichever way this goes. Like, I, I wouldn't play hard to get if you really like this person. Um, I wouldn't downplay my feelings if you really like this person because there's potential there. There's potential there, but you gotta, you definitely gotta, you definitely have to sit with yourself and think about why you want to present yourself like that. And I, I mean, like, I could probably tell you it's because you've been hurt in the past, but like, what does that do for the person that could give you what you've been looking for that the person that hurt you in the past didn't? Don't put that responsibility on you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> But it's up to you. You have to deny. I know. I'm so sorry, little indecisive fishies. I understand. But it is up to you. Um, it is It is really up to you. Oh, it's up to you. And Pisces, why would you be playing? Like, you got cards here that are like, yeah, that's somebody. This is a six of cups. This is like you feel at home with this person. They make your little heartbeat. They make you, they eat butterflies and your stomach and in your pants. Like, this is a good pairing. And you're like, um... Maybe it's because you're a little guarded, which is understandable, but you're going to have to get over that if you really want to have enjoyable things in your life. Okay. Okay, Pisces. That is it for the Pisces. Thank you for tuning in, Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising. We're going to get into some yes or no questions. Let me get these cards slid back in the deck and shuffled. Um, yo, it has been a day, but it's been a very productive day. I actually got everything done today, which is why these readings happen so late. But you know what? I don't have too much to do tomorrow. I have a few things that I have to get done. So I won't be up this late tomorrow. Also, because I'm not doing readings tomorrow. I will really not be up this late tomorrow. It's okay. I'm giving myself a pep talk. <laughs> this is not for y'all this is for me um okay do i have any more I say now that my cold that i almost lit myself up with is nice and ready to go i can put some frankincense on there and we can clear pisces and all the zodiac energies and give you guys some yes or no's and if you're just tuning in you may not know this, but I'm a little bit more exciting with the yes or no pulls. Give you a little bit of insight with it. And I give you Oracle in the tarot card. Because I'm cool like that. 
I'm cool like that. All right, let me get into these questions. Let me scroll a little bit and see, because I know you guys were asking questions while I was reading. Again, I don't have my glasses and I was not looking at this screen. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, we got there. Uh, do y'all have questions? Because I'm pulling y'all's free questions. Was it my ex that sent me an empty envelope? That's, that's wild. And from any person, like if it wasn't on accident, that's crazy. Um, was it your ex though? Fork in the road. I don't know what that means. Hold on. All right, let's pull a tarot so I can actually give you an answer. Maybe that message will become a little bit more clear to me with the tarot card. That one's not coming through. Was it your ex? I got to even yes. That's weird. Um, I'm going to one more for you. Uh, that uh, Okay, like at first I was like, that's scary. But no, they're like... Your ex, not, not to be mean, but like a weirdo, like they do strange stuff, like things that don't make sense <laughs> that are not necessarily dangerous, but just like, why would you do that? I get, I kind of get those vibes and I get that. Yeah, they did send you that envelope, but in an attempt to get you to like reach out to them, you, leave, they need to be ignored because they don't need to be doing things like that. So I would leave that alone. But yes, they did send you that empty envelope. Um, will Frank and you come together again? I was, I wanted to sing uh, the Amy Winehouse Frank song, but I, I'm getting Valerie in my head. Mm -hmm. Loyal heart. Ooh. Yeah. So yes. Oh yeah, leave leave that in the dust. Maybe look into a protection order. Like I'm not getting like da like I really don't get dangerous vibes, but I do get like maybe he needs to see a psychiatrist type of vibes. Like just to see like what's going on there. Does Willie really want to be with me one day or is he lying? Anthony. Willie might have some unfinished business with somebody else, but let's pull another. Let's pull your tarot. Oh, don't do majors. Uh, what was the question? The answer is no, but what was the question? Does Willie, no. He, he's, a, he's still mixed in with something else. So like, charge that to the game. Um, did your ex put black magic on you calling in protection for this question? The tribe. I get that they maybe tried to, like they went to somebody to, and asked about it, but no, they didn't. They like, it was a conversation though, but they didn't actually do it. Um, so if you're feeling like that, that's just their energy and how strongly they feel about whatever, whatever went down. Um, so just, you know, call in more protections, wear some protective stones. Um... Does S miss you? Did I answer that? I don't think I answered. Does S miss you? TikTok. Uh, with that, time is running out. Like, uh, wrap that up. But I'll still pull the tarot card. Don't do courts. No, S does not miss you. Wrap that up. Um, okay, let's see. Anybody else? Any questions? I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. You guys' comments are funny. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I kept you. First of all, y'all, ain't y'all the, the, we like to stay up all night sign? Will John get his complete papers in Europe this year? I don't know what those are, but I 
let's see never ending story it looks like you guys might be going through that same cycle this year uh, that is a court don't do court not this year sorry um we said arthur wouldn't get married we okay i answered that should you get a job i answered that don't answer timing questions like that um does w hide how he feels for me clean it up <laughs> w is messy don't do courts don't do courts uh i that's not necessarily an answer i can give you but i will say that he does have feelings for you um okay i got i got some more questions this embassy was it Kristen? i don't know is kyle being on i don't know what that means sorry it's kyle y'all if y'all haven't noticed i am a millennial that like can kind of work TikTok. Like I'm only 30, but like I it's a lot of buttons on here and this should be moving fast. I'm not sure. <laughs> Is Kyle being honest about how he truly feels? I feel like Kyle. No, all that glitters is not gold. But let's pull a tarot card. The world. Don't do. Don't do. Uh I can't give you really a straight answer with majors but all that glitters is not gold so i'm gonna say no um should you offer to volunteer for uh, jw deep knowing i feel like you already know the answer i don't know the answer yet but i feel like you already know the answer tower I don't no no but that's a uh you should but that's this uh, for some reason that's a chaotic situation but yes like for whatever reason if even if just for entertainment the card said yes you should um okay guys I think I think that's it does anybody else have any more questions because I think I, I got as many of y'all as I think I saw in here. Hi, Citrus. Oh, are you here to wrap it up too? <laughs> Citrus is like, girl, <laughs> you are really <laughs> in my space. Is K a Pisces? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, well, me and a relationship going to lead to marriage and a family. Exchanging gifts, possibly. The Hierophant, no majors. Two, that's a, even yes. Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all your gifts. Thank you for um, trying to warn me that I was going to light my life on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for the cash app love thanks for all all the things if you missed your readings like i said you can catch them on youtube sometime tomorrow um follow me on there as well you can follow me on all the socials it's sunshine Hayes code tiktok is the only one that i use my um my writing my byline on um what else what else what else do you guys need to know i feel like i gave you all of the shameless plugs throughout the video and uh yeah so Tune in sometime this week. I'll go live a couple more times this week. I have a few gigs scheduled, so I'm not sure what day or what time, but I will be in here at some point, probably at night, not this late at night. We know I'm not doing this again, um, but I will be in here sometime later this week to give you guys some more tarot love. And thank you for tuning in. I appreciate reading with you guys. This was fun. Have a good night, y'all. Good night. Get some rest or good morning, depending. <laughs>